Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's Steve Gaff, of JUF. Hope everyone's having a good weekend out there. So this video today is kind of a continuation of a video series I'm doing on uh, two meter. Uh, but today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a, a slightly different type of uh, repeater. There's actually two types of common uh, FM repeaters. One of them is called CTCSS and the other one is called uh, encode or tone only. So Kind of a quick quick review, uh, the previous video I did, I focused on CTCSS, which is a carrier tone coded uh, squelch system. And, and the way that works is essentially what you do is you program your radio for the frequency of the repeater, but you also program your radio to transmit a tone. And then also on your radio, your radio has a lock that it has to receive the correct key to open your squelch so that you can hear the repeater. So yesterday, this repeater here we worked with uh, has an uplink tone and a downlink tone. So what happens here is we actually will transmit on the uh, uplink frequency to the repeater, which we're transmitting on this frequency here with this particular tone. And then of course, on the transmit of the repeater, the repeater is also going to transmit a key and our radio has the coded tone squelch which is basically the lock and this key will unlock this CTCSS and we can hear the repeater. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to hear the repeater without this special, without the uh, you know correct combination of key and lock to unlock your squelch. So. That's kind of a review of what we did yesterday. So what I'm going to go over today is a different type of repeater and it's called an uplink tone only. Now the uplink tone only, what that means is essentially your the repeater only requires a tone to access it, but the repeater does not transmit a tone. So the, what that means is since there's no tone, anyone can hear that repeater. So that's the difference between CTCSS. You have to have your, your squelch set with the proper tone in order to hear that specific repeater. But on this particular combination here where it's encode only, you do not have to have any settings on your uh, squelch settings. In other words, your squelch is essentially open and you can hear any repeater or any simplex communication you want to because there's no code here. There's no lock on your radio. Your squelch is essentially open. <clears throat> so I'll demonstrate that. So again, just a quick review. Um, Again, the downlink is the transmit frequency of the repeater. And of course, this is the frequency that you will adjust your VFO and program the memory location. The uplink, of course, is the uh, receive frequency of the repeater. The offset, which is typically in two meters, going to be a, a negative offset. There can also be a positive offset above 147 megahertz. And the uplink tone, of course, that's the tone from your radio to access the repeater. And the downlink tone is the tone transmitted from the radio to your to your radio. And of course, this is where you have to have your CTCSS code in your radio to allow you to hear that repeater. If you don't have the code, you don't hear the repeater. And then of course, there's CTCSS. And of course, a tip here is if you have an uplink tone and a downlink tone, then of course, this will be CTCSS. Now what we're going to go over today is an encode only tone repeater and again that when you the way you identify an encode only repeater is it's only going to have an uplink tone there will not be a downlink tone for example on this repeater here you see an uplink tone and a downlink tone now on this repeater here you only see an uplink tone so this is an encode only repeater this repeater here is a TC, CTCSS. So that's the difference. And this is what we're going to do today, is we're just going to program an uplink only. This is what we did on a previous video. We set the actual setting here for CTCSS. But today we're going to set the setting for encode only, since there's only an uplink tone. And again, this is kind of a quick review. This is some repeater settings here. This is where you can find repeaterbook.com. Uh, one of the things I've just real quick, I'll mention, I didn't cover it, but uh, 
Get involved with ham clubs, uh, particularly, you know, Google clubs, repeaterbook.com is a good resource, ARRL is a good resource, uh, listen for traffic and so forth, uh, l listen for, you know, Saturday morning meetups or, you know, Saturday afternoon meetups and so forth. That, that's a way to find out where your local repeaters are. So anyway, what I'll do now, we'll go ahead and switch over to the radio. And again, what we'll do today is we're going to program a repeater in this configuration. And all we're going to do is transmit on this frequency here. We'll send the code 88.5, which is an ENC, which means encode only. That means the repeater requires a, a code. However, when the repeater transmits, it transmits open. There's no code or PO code, and anyone can hear the repeater. So anyway, just want to familiarize you with uh, the difference between CTCSS and encode only. So we'll uh, head over to the radio. Thanks. Hey, good afternoon. We're back for the second part of the video here. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and program in. We're talking about encode only today, and what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to program an upload-only repeater. But what I want to do first is I want to show you I have a particular way that I like to have these buttons set up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I like to have meter here, squelch, RF power, and MCH, which is Memory Channel Recall. I'm going to show you how you put these buttons here so you can always find them when you need them. Because depending on the mode you're in, these buttons will change. So I'll show you how to get these, like uh, at least like the way I like them. So what we'll do first is we'll go over and we'll find Swap F1. Press it. Now this will start flashing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through and I'm going to look for meter. And there's meter right there. And when I press it, watch what happens. The meter just moved down there. And that's what I want is meter in that particular setting. And we're going to swap that over to power. There we go. Squelch is fine. RF power is good. Now this one here, I want memory channel recall. So what we'll do is we'll go back again. And when I press F4, this is going to start flashing. So let's go find memory channel recall and it's right there watch what happens now it's into here so now I have the buttons the way I like them so again depending on the mode these four buttons are going to change if you go from FM to AM or upper sideband lower sideband but that's the way you assign those is is universal just like I just showed you with the F1 swap the F2 swap and so forth so let's go ahead and program in the repeater so what we'll do first is let's go in uh, and make sure we have uh, what we'll want to do first is we want to go in let's go into the repeater so we want to make sure we're in FM and then what we'll do is we're going to go to enter and I'm going to enter 145 490 000 I'm going to press enter now what we'll do is we're going to go over to repeater I pressed FM list to get here and where we want to make sure that we are in a negative off shift, off shift because that's what the repeater is so you have a negative and, positive, and, and simplex which is no plus or minus and then you have positive so we're going to leave this one on negative. The next setting we're going to do is the tone. Now this repeater here is a tone only. Now yesterday or the last video I did we did CTCSS. What that means is when you're in this mode your radio is transmitting a tone or a key to open the repeater and the repeater retransmits back on the same or on a slightly different frequency. It also has a a key and you have to have the uh, uh, you know uh, the code to unlock the key or to hear the repeater so that's what they call CTCSS so when you transmit you have the key or the code from your radio it opens a repeater and when someone uh, broadcasts back to you through the repeater the, to the, the repeater broadcasts the tone and your radio unlocks the tone so you can hear only that specific repeater but today we're going to go to encode only now what happens here is we are transmitting a code to the repeater however 
there is no code that comes from the repeater so it's basically open squelch so you hear everything that, that you can hear any any station on there so that's the difference so uh, we've got our repeater set to negative repeater offset our tone is encode only and the last thing we have to do is we have to make sure the tone is correct and we're going to set it to 88.5 and that's what this repeater is so all these look good negative off negative offset encode only and 88.5 so we're good now what we're going to do is we're going to press the AM button and we're going to put this repeater in memory location 7 which is right there and then I'm going to press and hold the AM button and now that repeater, that frequency was just added to memory location 7. So if we go to MCH, let's see here. Let's go back to, let's go from VFO to memory mode. Now there's memory location number 7. So there's a repeater we just programmed. So now what we'll do is we'll give it a tag, which is a name, which is a name essentially. So what we'll do now is we'll press and hold. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. What we're going to go here, we're going to go ahead and give it a tag. Now the tag we're going to call this one is KI5. Whoops. Tag KI5 Z S R P T going to press enter. Now we have a name right there. Alright, so now this repeater is programmed in, so let's go ahead and see if we can access it real quick. KI5JUF testing. Okay, that looks good. So what I want to show you is uh, a repeater that has an encode only but no code required on the squelch, if you press the squelch button and you turn your squelch you'll actually hear the open squelch then what we'll do is if I go to a different repeater if I go to a different repeater okay. we can go ahead and uh, what we can do is we'll when I press the squelch here let's go back to uh, Oops, i got to go back to memory channel mode. What we need to do here is we'll go to this repeater that we programmed yesterday, and if I, do a, if I open the squelch, you don't hear anything. But you notice the light turns on right there, but you don't hear anything because it's a coded squelch. See how that works? Alright, now I'm going to go back to memory channel mode. And we're going to go back over here to number 7, and when I open the squelch, watch what happens. See how you hear it? So that's the difference. So this encode only means there's no tone on the squelch and you can hear anything. So that's the difference. So anyway, I hope that's uh, helpful. I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to clear the squelch here. We're going to go back to memory channel mode. Now we have control. The multifunction knob has control of the memory channels. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. And uh, 73, and again, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll keep uh, putting out more videos. And uh, just let me know if there's anything unique or different uh, you want to see or Maybe we can learn together. So, again, 73 from Steve Cal 5 JUF. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate you.